Hello and welcome back to this episode of the Hugehoy Academy. This will be the advanced combat mechanics. It's the final episode for this run of combat mechanics in the Land War game. Uh, just to go straight into the things we're talking about today, the easiest way to see what kind of combat mechanics are in play when you're going into the game is looking in the battles and just uh, look at the soft attack, what's happening with the soft attack. We have a lot of things going on going on here. We have experience, intel advantage. The supply is a really hard debuff here for the uh, Italian troops standing there. Uh, we have terrain, weather, country, country skill. There's a lot of commander skill. There's a lot of things happening. So there's a lot of things you can do beforehand just to maximize your combat effectiveness. If we go first and look on counter buffs, we'll have a few things you can do. The first thing is the military staff. I think most people are using their military staff, but here you can really, really uh, maximize the effectiveness of your troops. Choose the right staff for what you're going to do in this game. Uh, so counter buffs comes from these stats. We also have a war support, which is, which is affecting your attack and defense on core territory. Really important uh, thing in uh, in maximizing buffs, especially when you're defending. You need you want to have a high war support to really maximize your effectiveness fight, fighting on your home turf. So we have the advisors there. We saw in this fight we have an intel advantage. Uh, intel advantages are really good. With good intel, you use your spy networks to gain this. You can al you also gain this in the combat, and there's modifiers for that too. But gaining a good intel advantage, use your spy networks, use your recon planes, maximize your intel advantage. It goes up to 15%. So it's a really good thing to do. Just going there with the spies and utilize them effectively. Uh, another huge part are the generals. Uh, all generals and field marshals have stats, so everyone commanded by this field marshal will get 7.5% more attack. And for each uh, general you choose, you get even more. So having a good field marshal and a good general will give you huge bonuses. And it's not no, just attack value. Just look at this, supply consumption minus 22.5% as we talked about. Uh, before supply is really important so you can mass units and really get everything in there and give your opponent the hardest punch possible so using good generals field marshals are extremely important to get those stats up of course you need to choose the right doctrine and you have spirits that are really really important with different kind of spirits depending on which uh, doctrine you will choose uh, Doctrines generally, if you want to go a tank build, you want mobile warfare, I would say Blitzkrieg is one of the best ways to go there. You get speed on your tanks, you get even more organization, uh, you get some uh, uh, coordination, really, really good things for a hard panzer push. So if you're going tanks as a minor or even going a lot of tanks as a major, Blitzkrieg mobile warfare is really, really good. Superior firepower. I love superior firepower as I talked about before. Always have this thing with you. You need to go over the attacker's breakthrough or the defender's defense value. You get four times the damage. So these margins are extremely important. Getting that extra soft attack, hard attack punch can do all the difference. So even a tank build can benefit from a superior firepower doctrine but you need to try it out see what works for the tank build you're going for grand battle plan you give get that max entrenchment plus five really good if you're going to defend uh, especially if you're going to defend in the harsh terrains uh, something i love with this one is uh, night tactics uh, so you get less debuffs when you're fighting at night uh, and those minuses you get is really, really affecting your effectiveness. So getting rid of minus, uh, minuses in the modifiers are really, really good. Mass Assault doc Doctrine, uh, it's if you combine uh, a lot of infantry with a lot of tanks and you have a lot of men, it's a really, really good uh, uh, tactic. You also get the supply consumption uh, buffs, so you get minus... 15% in total, the best doctrine in the game to get less supply and 
going that extra 5% does a lot because yes, ordinary perhaps are up to minus 50 or 60% supply, that extra 5% really come in handy and gives even more, uh, more supply uh, for your troops. Uh, and spirits, look them, look over, think what are you going to do, what do you need for your build, uh, try it out. I really love uh, equipment capture ratio, yes, stealing equipment from your opponent. If you have other country buffs giving you more like the Soviet has in this game, uh, this tank designer, you can even go and push that a little bit further. Uh, of course, air superiority is really, really important. In this battle, I think we have so much anti-air, so they're not really having their air super superiority they need to do give that minus for us. But still, it's really, really good if you have a good air superiority, uh, even pushing in some cast there to bomb their tanks. It does a huge difference. Uh, another thing you can think about is the terrain. Terrains has different bonuses they make stuff they give you less attack they have their combat with they de affect combat air superiority a lot of stuff but you can also design your templates to be better in different terrains so this light infantry is good in forest gives extra attack is extra movement extra defense when in a forest tile so you can also design your troops to really really be effective in that terrain that you're fighting in. So there's a lot of things you can do to gain that extra momentum in the game. And a really, really important thing to understand is that these modifiers uh, work exponentially. So having, if you have gone up to 200% already and you give an extra 10% on that, it take 200% times 1.1. So you go up from 200 to 220. So Every time you go higher, your, the new stats will push them even further. So these are really, really effective. You can go up as far as, far as 300, 340% in defense if you're really, really going for it. And it gives you a lot. Uh, going back to advisors, a really good thing you can do and you can watch out for is going and give your field marshals your... Uh, generals and other, other abilities, so they can be recruited as uh, advisors. So if you have a good uh, field marshal, this is just a level 3 skill, uh, you can give them extra bonuses and place them as your uh, chief of army or a military high command. Uh, something I love defending if you have those choke points, as a few countries have, uh, Getting an entrenchment specialist, getting the entrenchment up 5% more is really, really effective. Combining that with an entrenchment uh, specialist, uh, military high command, pushing it even further, you can find these kind of things working well together in your game. So, yeah, just look around, see what you find, uh, look what you need to have, what, what you're going for, see how you can utilize them the best you can. And if you're looking at advisors, this is gives special forces 10% attack. You can always see how your template are, are going to be affected. So if you're going here for this uh, light infantry, you can see here it's 57% special forces. So they will get 57% of that bonus applied to them. If you have an infantry uh, advisor also, you will get 63% uh, of that infantry bonus, so you can stack these up, especially with special forces. Uh, but you also have to keep in mind you're not usually getting all the benefit because you have split units, so you don't get all the infantry, you don't get all special forces bonuses applied to them, you get a percentage of what you found. But you can make your units great in the template, you can use this kind of thinking to really maximize their effectiveness. But you always need to remember that superior units might win the battle, but you need to go for those surrounds to really win the game, get those pockets, annihilate your enemy, and then move forward. 
but that was all for this uh, series of combat mechanics. I hope you follow us and subscribe and see our new videos coming out with other topics in the coming weeks. Thank you very much and see you later.